In this video, we are going to create a 3D dispersion effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. Basically, it is a 3D dispersion glass effect. It will be super fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create a 3D dispersion effect. So let me just show you what we are going to create. So this is a simple uh, image. I just increase the background because we need more room to get more details. So this is a simple image and we will we can create this one. You can use any of your images. So some basic set is some basic settings you need to remember are like the image should be in 8 bits and the uh, higher resolution so it could give you more highly detailed effect you can see that here more zooming in and it will give you more details and it looks pretty amazing and some kind of unique so uh so and at this time we are going to work on this image so let's start our work uh first of all you need to go to uh this uh, icon of your layers panel and go to panel option from uh, from here you will see that there is a add copy to uh, copied layer and groups so it could be it should be checked so uh, hit ok now go to edit uh, presets preset manager from here we need to import our brushes so uh, the download file uh, uh, the file you will download from the given link in the description uh, will be when you will download your file from the description uh, the file when you will extract that it will be look like uh, let me just show you it will be look like this uh, zip file so when you will extract this there will be a folder so double click to open this there will be a brush file a pattern file and an action file so go to photoshop and we are going to load the brushes so open this folder and click on brushes and click on load as i have already loaded them so i don't need to load them you can see that and close or done this now again now we need to load pattern so go to edit presets preset manager from brushes select patterns okay so same thing just click on load open the folder and you will see that there is a pattern file make sure that you are using photoshop cs6 because it will work more fine uh, for cs6 uh, it will create some errors like select error type of things in later or uh, newer versions so try to use cs6 and as i already loaded these uh, uh, glasses pattern so we don't need to do i don't need to load them again so it done now it's time to load the we can see that action so if you are don't having this icon on the side panel you just need to go to windows and go to actions the short key is alt plus f9 and from the action as you can see that i have already downloaded this or we can say that I already loaded this so the loading method is just click on this icon right click uh, sorry drag this menu and you will see that there is a load actions so click on load and again open that folder you will see that there is a file named 3d dispersion photoshop action so click and click on load so uh, I have already loaded this so I don't need to do this again Okay, so when you will uh, down, uh, load this in Photoshop, you will see that there are four options. There are right, left, up, down, and same thing like if you want to dispersion, distort the glass effect or we can say 3D effect into right. So you can select right and then hit play. And if you want to do, do left, so you can play left, right, and up, down, and the four value, uh, four, we can say that four sides. So now let's just uh, for the time being collapse this, create a new layer and name this layer as area. The caption should be, we can say that uh, it should be in lowercase a r e a so click and now select brush zoom it in and select right click and select the soft brush you can set hard brush but try to use a little softer mid harder maybe 40 percent of opacity so we can sorry uh, hardness and size it up nice and select the sharp color any type of color you can select red you can select red or you can select green blue whatever you type you just need to give it selection so okay so it's not a sharp color nice so hit okay now what we want to create so simple thing just select and paint the 
area you can increase the hardness and the stiffness of your brush it's nice and for both hands now like the lighter brush so Okay, so I think it's enough. Now, the straight thing is Okay. So the next thing is you just click on this icon to open the action panel and uh, you can see that I have increased the room from the downside so we will do it on down. Click and open to see what's going on on these layers and just simply click hit play button so you can see that there are lots of processes here so it will take a little time to complete the process so wait for the time and we will do it fastly click on this play button and wait okay so the process is completed and uh, that's the final effect let's just collapse this side panels for actions and you can see that it created pretty much amazing results for that particular effect you can see that here okay so let's just close all of these layers to check what can we edit in this so we can edit everything uh, ex uh, I think uh, we can edit everything here look at this uh, you can change color you can change particles colors and after that all particles the small particles and every type of effect you want to be creating in this image so blurred particles small particle big particles you can see that we can turn off blurred particles small particles and these type of things look at this so what else other particles you can see that small blurred particles brightness of the particles background of the particles uh, i think so it's a color of background and the main color layer or sharpness we can say that and it's pretty much hd you can see that pretty much nice and uh, let's just do a little thing for it so what we should do for it so we'll give it a maybe we should give it a what should we do for this so let's just check photo filter change its color to yellow sorry yellow color hit ok increase the amount maybe a little bit and then after that uh, hui saturations from hui change its color no need to trim this from here so let's just delete that and select maybe color balance okay so but finally we have done this you can create different type of effects like this and this and many more how much you like and every time you will generate the uh, results it will be random so not at the same so I hope you like this video and uh, soon I am going to uh, release my new website so from there we will you can find everything you need because we cannot create a, each to every tutorial for every effect so uh, I will provide everything you need and the premium things which you cannot find anywhere else I will provide you on that website so don't be worried about that and have patience and give me a feedback that if you are liking my work and if you want some new things like whatever you want to like to see on this channel 
uh, I will try my best and just need your comments your support and your love and for this you need to click on this little subscribe button on the corner and uh, it's it will be great uh, help for me and uh, it will be great fun we will design and we will change the concept of photoshop so i hope you like my work again and please subscribe to my channel and uh, we will meet in our next video and keep in mind that never stop and keep learning